So we've been chasing after this female black rhino who has a potential snare on her foot. This is our third rush call out. They think they found her. We're, we're gonna rush. I'm on my way to get up in the chopper. Uh, and hopefully this time we're gonna find her. So we're heading towards the last spot where the ground team spotted her. The chopper's up. I can just hear the chopper now. So we're actually just gonna stand by and wait for Pete to get the darts in. We can hear the chopper coming up behind us. Here comes the chopper. Exciting stuff, darts in. Yes. Um, we've picked up the ground team of doing an absolutely amazing job so far today keeping up with her. And uh, this is the third attempt to try and get this rhino. So, darts in, happy days. And let's hope there's not too much of an injury from whether it's a snare or a piece of wire, we're gonna find out shortly. Okay guys, so the rhino's down, let's go. Size difference yeah. between a, a, even a black rhino cow and calf. I mean, she looks like she's tiny. We haven't seen her since she was seen on the camera trap with wire. You can see there's a, a bit of a scar there. So obviously there was some wire around her at some point, but you can see it's healed, it's come off. So it could just be a little bit of wire. It definitely could have been a snare, but however, it's probably naturally just fallen off in her daily motion. So absolutely amazing to be this close to one of these animals and really good news that there is no snare. So huge thanks to Rhino Revolution UK for quickly coming up with the funds in order for us to help this iconic animal. Alright guys, we're going to wake her up eh? and just do this for a minute. So third time's a charm and luckily the snare had come off that female black rhino, but in this thick bush, as you can see behind us, we can't take a chance. Infection can set in, it's humid, and of course they are one of the most endangered species in Africa. So great work all round by everyone, the ground team, Colin, tracking with the dogs, uh, Jake's from Ledwood, and of course Phil, Anna, 
and everyone from Rhino Revolution and a special thanks to Rhino Revolution UK who put up the funds for this emergency operation.